before we go, we want to speak to one local, uh, one one local business owner who has created her own healthy dressings right here in the local area. We're pleased to be joined by Karen Akuri. She is the owner of Drench Dressings. Joining us now on the MegaCast, Karen. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. So, for those that are not familiar, Karen, what is Drench Dressings? What what sets your dressings apart from other salad dressings of the like? So our dressings, well, why don't we take a little step back and I can tell you how it all started. Please. So um, so what inspired me was I was making salads just like, you know, cooking for my family, just like all moms do. And I started paying attention to ingredients and labels and, and really paying attention to what's in our food. And I couldn't believe all the ingredients that were in there. There's so many chemicals I couldn't even pronounce disodium anosinate, titanium dioxide. And I was like, what is this doing in our food? So, and I even Googled it and titanium dioxide is a whitening agent for industrial paint. And I'm like, oh my goodness. So that's when I decided, you know, I have to make my own. I cannot be, you know, it didn't make any sense. I was making a healthy salad and then pouring all the chemicals on it. So that's when I decided to make my own and I would take the salads to friends' homes. I would even take it to the teachers at, at schools. My kids um, went to, they were at St. Regis and Marion and Brother Rice and Bloomfield Hills. And I would take uh, salads you know, to sporting events and I was getting a lot of compliments and a lot of those moms encouraged me to bottle it. And I remember coming home and telling my husband and he said, oh yeah, just add it to the list of all the other things you wanna do. <laughs> and that's when I'm like, oh gosh, that fueled me. And it, it just made me think I really have to do this now. Um, it came from a good place. He knows I was so busy, but yeah, that's what really um, triggered me to do it. So yeah, so to answer your question, yeah, they're all super clean ingredients. Um, most of the ingredients you'd find it at home in your own pantry and the nice thing is that if you have allergies at home, they're, um, they're free of the most common allergens. They're dairy-free, nut-free, gluten-free, egg-free, fish-free, um, non-GMO, and they're absolutely delicious. Like, you won't miss any of that. <laughs> Karen Curry joins us on the Mega Cash. She is the owner of Drench Dressings. You can find more information on idrench.com and on their social media, such as Instagram, at Drench Dressing. And, uh, Karen, you mentioned that it's made from natural ingredients that you could find just in, in your kitchen. And, and when people are But when people are looking for salad dressings, they're looking for something that uh, that they're going to put on in, in relatively small amounts on a salad just to add a little bit of taste or sweetness or tartness to their salad that, that they're obviously not going to be getting from lettuce and from uh, certain other vegetables that they may be mixing into that. But, the, but they're not necessarily, even though your dressings are called drench, going to be literally drenching these salads <laughs> in these dressings. So in terms of, how, of their shelf life, how long do these uh, last in someone's refrigerator, especially considering that you don't use preservatives or GMOs and so on? Yeah, so good question. Uh, so they um, they do have a good shelf life because there's no dairy, no raw egg or fish. They last a year from the date of manufacture and then they're good for 60 to 90 days after you open the bottle. And the reason why I called it Drench is because I love to drench my salads. I love sauces, I love dressings. And they're so clean and healthy that you can do that and not feel so guilty. Do people use these salad, these dressings, obviously for salads, but do they use them in other capacities too? Can they be used for, uh, whether it be marinating a, a meat or, or using as a topping on another recipe as well? And do you maybe have some ideas that you provide to people on your website possibly that could provide those other outlets? Yes, definitely. So I love marinating with um, these dressings and we love using them as dipping sauces as well. Like for example, so we have five flavors. Uh, this is our Mediterranean lemon. This was inspired by my late mother-in-law, Mr. Soul. She's a beautiful woman and she um, she's Lebanese and so her cooking was all Lebanese inspired. And that's where this dressing was inspired. Uh, she would, um, when she cooked, she never measured like most <laughs> most of our the older generation and so after she passed I spent um, a few months trying to recreate that same flavor my kids were really missing that and this one is a great marinade for chicken lamb chops uh, the Mediterranean lemon also is great as a drizzle on 
avocado toast with microgreens or arugula. Um, and I love it on this seven layer Mediterranean dip that I'm gonna show you how to make a little later uh, in the show. And then, so and then we also have, this is my signature dressing. The first one is the citrus honey. That's the OG, that's what started it all. I made a really nice kale salad with, uh, we had quinoa, shaved Parmesan, toasted pine nuts, caramelized golden raisins. And that's when I got all the compliments from all the moms and, um, and teachers at school. And, and that's what led me to start Drench. And then soon after came our balsamic fig vinaigrette. Uh, this one is really delicious on anything with cheese, anything with goat cheese or feta. I put it on caprese salad, Greek salad, uh, cob salad. And then we have our um, new vegan Caesar. We just launched that a few months ago. That is delicious on anything. And I, I almost didn't want to call it vegan. It just happens to be vegan because of the clean ingredients. Uh, it's just, there's no raw egg, no raw fish, no dairy, but you won't miss any of it. I've been making delicious grilled chicken Caesar pasta salads with a ton of spinach, grilled chicken Caesar wraps with this. So many ways to use it. And then we have our new Southwest. It's not in stores just yet. Uh, that's launching um, in a few weeks. Um, you can purchase it on our website at idrench.com, but this is coming soon. Um, I used this this weekend. We made a really nice taco bar and um, we used it for our taco salads and fajita salads. It's really delicious. And oh, back to the citrus honey. I love marinating salmon with that one, salmon and chicken. So, so versatile. I mean, you get a lot of use out of, out of all of them. So I have to say, I'm very, very guilty of putting things in my body with labels where you cannot pronounce three fourths of the stuff. So I really, really appreciate this. It's an ongoing fight that my family has. I need to get on that. Definitely gonna get some of your dressings. I know, <coughs> sorry, I know you have a little demonstration you wanna show us, but just real quick, I have to ask, I know you use different ones for different things, but what is your first, if I could talk, what's the first thing that comes to mind when I ask you which one your favorite is? Oh my gosh, I get that question all the time and it's so hard to answer because they're all so equally good. It just depends on what mood I'm in. <laughs> what I'm, if I'm in the mood for something more savory or more sweet, like the Mediterranean lemon and the vegan Caesar have no carbs. They're very keto friendly. Um, and then the other three have very low carbs uh, but they're a, a hint of sweet, but nicely balanced. And like, it just depends what I'm in the mood for because they're all so good. <laughs> I can't wait for you to try them. I'm so excited. Karen Curry joins us on the Megacast. She is the owner of Drench Dressings. You can find more information on their website, idrench.com, and on Instagram, at Drench Dressing. And, and Karen, you mentioned earlier that uh, you're releasing a new dressing here in the next few weeks in select stores. But in, in general, where can people find Drench Dressings locally? So I've been working really hard. We're growing fast. We are in just a, in a couple short years. We're in uh, 250 stores in 10 states. Wow. So I'm excited to share that with you. Um, we're in a, uh, many of the local stores. They've all been so supportive. Um, Whole Foods, Nino Salvaggio, they've been wonderful. Plum Market, Market Square, Market Fresh. Uh, Heartland Market, Westbourne, Nina, uh, gosh, I, there's so many to name, but you, you can find the list on my website as well, idrench.com. Karen Akuri with us, the owner of Drench Dressings. And Karen, earlier you said uh, that you uh, had a demonstration prepared of making one of these natural salad dressings that you produced. Yeah. So would you, would you <laughs> want to go ahead and uh, show us how you do that? Yes, I would love to. So this is one of my favorite recipes. And all of my recipes, I do share them on my website, idrench.com. So if you don't catch it all today, you'll be able to find it there. So this is a wonderful appetizer. It's healthy. It's a crowd pleaser. Everyone loves it. Every time I make it, the plate gets cleaned. And it's so simple to make. So I, um, it's a, so basically it's a, a kind of a, it's a take on the Mexican dip, but it's Mediterranean. So I start with uh, a layer of hummus on my platter. So I have a, just a really nice, simple platter. You can use a fancy one if you'd like. And you can make them as big or as small as you'd like. I mean, uh, my husband has his buddies come over and they're watching the game. I make a big platter and it gets cleaned every time. So I normally make my own hummus. I like to do that. It's not very difficult, but I know it's always, um, we don't always have the time to do so. So if, you do, if I do buy hummus, I like to buy 
uh, Nino Savaggio has a great one. And also my friend um, Hannah, she has a company, she's local as well. It's called Hummus Goodness. And her um, hummus is really clean as well. And I believe you're gonna be interviewing her next week. Oh. So yeah, and then this is the first layer, that's the hummus. And then I like to layer it with parsley, cucumbers, tomato, feta, um, and black olives. And I like to use these gloves. I'm sure we have, a, everyone's got a lot of these um, left over um, that we've all stocked up on. Use them for cooking. Um, it's really nice. So then I drizzle some chopped parsley on top. And you can also, if you wanted to take a shortcut, you could just buy the hummus, buy some tapula from your local Mediterranean restaurant and just layer that, that saves a couple steps. And then I have some chopped cucumbers, you drizzle that on. Really delicious, healthy. And then I've got some chopped tomatoes. I love to use these like sweet cherry tomatoes on the vine, they're so flavorful. Oh, and I have a little kitchen hack. So I, since I'm so busy, I always like to keep um, grab and go food in the fridge for my family. And I love to use sal to make salads ahead of time. And I find that when you pat the veggies dry, they last longer. So a salad can last a few days in the fridge. And also another great salad hack is to use a ceramic knife. Um, so that was, this was like one of Oprah's favorite things a while back. And a ceramic knife, I guess it has something to do with the oxidation. So the vegetables don't turn brown right away. So it buys you some time. So see, so we got the tomatoes and then um, I have some feta. You can just crumble that on and then top it off with black olives. You can get really creative with this. On my website, I even suggest you can use tzatziki sauce as one of the layers. You can also add beets, um, whatever you like. And then this is the game changer. So this is, I top it off with the Mediterranean lemon dressing. Oh shake it up real well because um, there's no artificial emulsifiers or preservatives and then we just drizzle that on oh, man. and it just adds so much flavor and voila it's a beautiful presentation it is it's really impressive if you'd like to take it to a friend's if you're bringing a plate this is a perfect recipe hopefully you can see that yes it's really yeah, and it's simple. You can make them, like I said, as small or as large as you'd like them. And you have and, these recipes on your website at idrench.com. Yes, exactly. And you know, I serve it with pita chips, sliced veggies, whatever you'd like. Um, yeah, so, and I also have another great recipe on my website, uh, which is my signature kale salad recipe, which okay. pairs with the citrus honey vinaigrette. Uh, that one is a crowd pleaser as well. I highly recommend taking the time to make that one. So these it's recipes, Karen, uh, Karen Curry with us from Drench Dressing. Just another minute and a half with you uh, before we'll say goodbye today. So these dress, <laughs> these uh, recipes that you have on your website, do you pair them with specific dressings or give a list of a couple different maybe that would work really well with one salad versus another? Yes, for sure. So all of them, so I have different recipes for each um, each dressing and you'll find that as well. Oh, and there was one other thing I wanted to mention too. Okay. Uh, it's, this is so important and we use high quality oils. So we use olive oil and avocado oil, sometimes grapeseed oil. We never use soybean oil or canola. Um, those are non-GMO, highly processed and inflammatory. So we stay away from those oils. So, so that's another um, really nice um, ingredient in our dressings. Karen Curry with us on the Oakland on the Megacast. She joins us today uh, from Drench Dressing. Just about 40 seconds left in the show. Karen, anything else quickly you'd like to say before we let we let you go today? Oh gosh, um, just uh, thank you for having me. This has been wonderful, and thank you for letting me share my story. I'm just happy to 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 spread the word. They're all healthy dressings, and I can't wait for everyone to try them. And reach out to me anytime. You can message me. Uh, through my website at idrench.com. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear feedback. And if, uh, we always share recipes on um, Instagram at, uh, at Drench Dressings. Um, that's, our, that's our name, Drench Dressings on Instagram. So yeah, thank you again. It's great being here.